Good evening and welcome to the Bower Arena, Ice Sheffield, where we've got Autumn Cup action tonight with the Bradfield Brewery Sheffield Steel Dogs taking on the Swindon Wildcats. Swindon are expected to be a real tough team to beat this season, packing their squad with pure quality. But the Steel Dogs have plenty of quality in the, on their own roster and of course a character win last weekend will set this game up nicely. Enjoy the highlights.
So post-game interviews after a 4-3 defeat to the Swindon Wildcats, uh, here with Andy Hurst. Andy, a tough game to play in tonight. Yeah, uh, I thought we uh, should have won really. It was a tough game, but it, we slipped away for, it slipped away from us even, and uh, that's it, we lost. Was the message to get out there uh, very quickly and try and get something on the board? Because before I'd even sat down, we were 1-0 up. Well, I guess we always try and play quick and play fast and come out quicker. And we did come out of that tonight, but uh, we didn't hang on to it in the third period, so it proved irrelevant, I guess. It was quite a seesaw performance as well, wasn't it? We uh, went ahead and then we were 2 1 down, got it back, then we were ahead again, and then just conceding late on in the game. Is that something to work on next week? Well, yeah, well, yeah, we've done that a few times, but they are a top side, they're a big club, and they've scored a couple of free goals that won't happen on uh, on other games. Uh, so, yeah. So, Adrian, we've got a, a week of training to go ready for the Peterborough game. Is there anything in particular that the team will work on? Uh, yeah, there's Peterborough next week, but we've still got game tomorrow against Swindon in Swindon, South Wales, I mean, so... Uh, I can't really think about that, but what I can say, we, we can expect another tough team from the South. They're very good organised, and like Swindon, they've got a really good forward. Every single line can score, so we need to be very good D and in our D zone and just be ready for 60 minutes, not just one, two periods like today. And of course, uh, we had a, a massive crowd tonight. Does that affect the players? Well, you can see it's always help. You know, like you are on the warm up and people are already there sitting and waiting for the game. So it's pushing us forward. So there's much appreciated that every single every single man counts. So uh, you know, like when you're playing in bigger crowd, you got like bigger responsibility. You know, you don't want to let your team down and your club the fans you can see that on the ice we've got uh, you know a very strong very well organized team past couple of games at home we've had overtime winners what do you expect from peterborough next week yeah we say like it's it's our our home our fortress so uh, i think it's the first loss at home this year this year this season so it's a tough one to take but yeah the bigger crowds always help and what I can say again, Peterborough, it's going to be even even tougher, you know, like, we got basics on last week, now Swindon, and the all three teams are very tough to play, so just, if we want to compete and win again, we need to give up our best. We would love to see as many people down here next week at the Bauer Arena at Sheffield. We want to see those stands full. We want to see people coming to cheer on our Bradfield Brewery Sheffield Steel Dogs. Hopefully... We'll see you there. Keep up to date with all the news this week on our social media. Good night.